Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. I guess most of the viewers have the basics and fundamentals of MS Excel. If not, then there is a link in the description box below which will navigate you to the basics of MS Excel from Simply Learn. However, there might be most of the scenarios where you want to represent your data in the most readable and understandable format in the form of a hard copy, that is, a printed copy. But there might be chances that your data might not fit to your page or there might be chances that the format of your data is not in proper condition to get printed. So this video is all about the same. Today we will learn how to set up page in MS Excel. So before we begin, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the one point agenda for today's session that is page setup in MS Excel. So to understand the page setup in MS Excel, we will go through a demo inventory in Excel where we'll be considering some restaurant data. Now without any delay, let's get started with a practical demo. Now we are on the Excel sheet and this is the data I was talking about. The restaurant data where we have the first column that is rank and next we have the restaurant name. Followed by that we have the sales happening through that restaurant and then we have the segment category. That is what kind of service does that particular restaurant offers. Now, this is the list what we made and uh, what if we wanted to represent this data in the form of a printed paper, right? So, I guess you can see all the columns and rows here. So, you can see that we have almost like 250 rows. So, there is no chance or there is no way to print all those 250 rows in one page. Of course, it is practically possible. but when you try to read the content, it will be so tough to read because all the rows will be clubbed together so closely so that you cannot read it. So uh, you need to print them page by page. So and you need to also take care of the data is aligned properly according to the page size, everything and even you need to take care of the margins of your page, right? So that's what page setup basically means. So we had a detailed overview of our data and what actually we're trying to make. Now let us see how page setup is possible in MS Excel. So to go to the page setup menu or go to the page setup options, we have three methods. Let's start with the simplest method. So the simplest method is by just clicking on file and go to print option. And you'll see all the page setup options right over here. And you can also go to print menu by pressing a shortcut method that is control so you'll directly end up on the page setup options. Now let's look at the second method. So the second method is, you can see the toolbar over here, right? Which has file, home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. So the second method, we can use page layout option from the toolbar. And you can see, when you click on the page option from the toolbar, you have a new ribbon over here. So this ribbon is all about page setup options. So it will offer you margins, it will offer you orientation, size, print area, breaks, background, print tiles, etc, etc, right? So all these options or menus in this ribbon belong to page setup. Now, let us look at the third method. So the third method is something similar. You have view option on the toolbar. So just select a view and you can see we have few page setup options over here as well. The normal page break, page layout, custom views and we have grid lines, formula bar, heading, zoom and zoom out, select to zoom, free certain panes, right? So all these are also the page setup options. So we have the three methods to enter the page setup options. Now we are familiar with those. Now let's get started with the practical mode on page setup. For that, let me use the simplest method that is holding the control key and pressing P which navigates me to the print option. Now we have various set of options here. We have no scaling, normal margins, letter, portrait orientation, collated, print active sheets and note one for windows. You can see this option is the printers option. 
For example, if you are connected to a printer, which is the hardware printer, then your MS Excel will show the printer's name here. So other than printer, you can also make some other arrangements where you can just directly print your complete data in the form of PDF and then you can export your PDF to your recipient. That's also possible. Okay, now let's get started with the first option that is print active pages. Okay, to understand this better, we need to create a new sheet. Not a problem. So you can see that we just have one sheet over here. So let us kind of select all the items and create a new sheet and try to paste it over here. Or let's try to paste it over here. Okay, now let's try to extend these. Yeah, this should be fine. Now let's rename this sheet. Sheet uh, or let's rename it as restaurant sheet 2 for our reference. Now let us get back to the print sheet option. So I'll use the shortest method that is holding the control key and press P. Now you can see that here we have six pages in total from the active sheets. So the current active sheet is the top 250 sheet. So this particular sheet is the current active sheet. So if we print the entire data in this particular sheet, then we will end up printing six pages. Now let us select the other option where you have to print the entire workbook, right? So now you can see that there's a change in the number that is 12 pages. So what is a workbook? So basically workbook is the collection of entire sheets in your Excel homepage. So in this particular Excel homepage, you have the first sheet that is top 250 and the second sheet that is the restaurant sheet 2, right? So the combination of these two sheets make up a workbook. So when you select the entire workbook option, you'll have 12 pages. So that's how we use this setting where you select the active sheets, the entire workbook, and there is another option where you can only print a selected item. So if you want to do this, then let's get back here. Now, what if your customer or what if your client wanted the top 10 restaurants only? So you can select the top 10 restaurants by doing this. Now you have the top 10 restaurants. Let's go to print. So you can see Excel has automatically selected the selection only, print the selected content only. So you can see we have only the top 10 restaurants or top 11 restaurants that we have selected in our sheet and it is ready to get printed. So this is how we use the first option. Now let's get back. Let's not select that and let's make the pages normal. Now get back to the print option again. Now you can see the next option that is collated. Right, so in collated you have different different options that is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 and the next one which is uncollated 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. So why are these numbers uh, present here and what does collated mean anyway? So this is your question right. Now the answer for this question will be a little similar to your examination hall. Okay. Let us imagine that you are an examination hall and you are the invigilator and you have 10 students in your room. So you wanted to provide question papers to all the 10 students. Okay. So you have your question paper distributed into three sheets. That is you have marked questions and your questions are fit into three papers. Right. In this scenario, we have 250 rows and all the data is split into six sheets. That is sheet one or page one, page two, page three, page four. Right. Now, if we wanted to print 10 copies, then the arrangement of papers will be page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six in continuous order. Right. That is collated. If you wanted 10 copies of different different ways where you wanted to print the first sheet first, then you wanted to print the second sheet second and the third sheet third, that is, you'll have 10 copies of first page, 10 copies of second page, 10 copies of third page and so on. 
that particular approach is called uncollated approach and if you are printing the pages in continuous order for 10 times then that particular approach is called as collated approach. So this is what we had to learn about collated and uncollated. Now let's get back to the third option. Now let's press again print. Now we have our data over here. There is something wrong. Select all the elements, control P. Yeah, now we have our data back. Now we have the third option that is the portrait orientation. So, okay. So when we click that, we have two options that is portrait and landscape. So you might be having a good idea like when you try to click a picture in your phone, we have two modes as well that is portrait mode and the landscape mode. So when you click on the portrait mode, this is how your data will be looking. Now to understand the difference, let's click the landscape mode. So when you click the landscape mode, this is how your data representation will change. You'll have a wider page to print. So this is why we use the page orientation. For now, let's keep the page orientation as portrait orientation. And we have now the fourth option. So what is the fourth option? We have various sets of options in here. That is letter and A4 size. There are also some more page options over here where you can select the page types you want to print. So basically you'll be having few more options that is A4, A5, A3, etc. But here we just have two that is A4 and letter. So basically you'll get those options and followed by that next we have margins. So here you can see we don't have any margins for our data. Okay. So now we can add some margins by setting up this one as an option like last custom setting or you can also choose normal wide narrow right so your page will be changed according to your margin size right so this is how you can change the margins now let's keep it as default let's set the normal one now we have the next option that is scaling option so here you can see we are trying to fit the page. So when you're trying to print these sheets using no scaling, then the actual size of the page will be printed. Now you can also modify that. You can fit and print these sizes. So you can remember the first option that I said of printing all the 250 rows in one single sheet. This is how you can fit it. So fit the sheet on one page where you can see all the 250 rows are fit into one page, but the data is not readable. So, but we don't want this type of an approach, right? So let's keep it as the default one, which is no scaling. So these are the variety of options in print. Now, if you wanted to print the all the six pages into the PDF format and mail it to your client, you can also do that. I think I have explained it in the first place. So you can see we can do it by just selecting this option where you can print all the six pages and into PDF format and then you can mail them to your client. And you can also select the number of copies you want. You can increase the copies to two, three and any number of uh, copies you want. For now, I'll keep it as one copy. Now, Let's print this. Now let us select the location, rename it and publish. Now let's get back to documents and see if the page is printed or not. Here you go. Here we have the restaurant data in the form of PDF. So we have our entire six pages of data in the PDF format. Now we are back on the home page. Now we had some limited functions in the print function over here. We had tried to export the data. So you can also export the data or try to print it from the print option over here. You can just select that as well. You can modify PDF. 
Yes, the pages are printed now. And there you go, we have the restaurant to PDF data. So that's how you can print all your data. You can either choose the export option or you can either choose the print option. Now, when you see into the print option, we have limited number of page setup options over here. Now, let's check out what we missed. So we are in the page layout here. So we had gone through the margins, we had set all the margins and then we have also gone through the portrait and landscape. Now you can see this size. When we were in the print menu option, we had only A4 and letter. But here you can see there are a wide variety of options. That is, other than letter, we have tabloid, legal, statement, executive, A3, right? We have A5 and many more other options. And if you want some more paper options, you can go to more and you can always select a few more options. That's how you do it. And yeah, we didn't have the break option. So remember when we had been through the print option, we did not have the break option there. Let's select this to normal A4. So you cannot see the break option over here, right? So here we have the break option. So what does break option does? Right? You can actually break the page. Uh, remember we spoke about the top 10 things or the top 10 rows you can always do that so you can just keep the top 10 restaurants in your first page and then break the remaining and to set page breaks you can select the cell now i need the top 10 so i'll select this particular cell which is in the 11th position and now i'll try to implement the page break insert a page break and now you can see on my sheet there is a thin line which is separating the two pages that's how you can see the indication of a page break implemented onto your page now how do you see it you can see it by selecting control p where you can see the first top 10 restaurants being printed on your sheet so there you go we have the first top 10 restaurants printed on our sheets so that's how you use the page break now let's try to eliminate all the page breaks so you can select breaks and reset all page breaks so the page break has been eliminated now you can always choose a background for your data as well you just uh, if you want you can add a picture to your background i think that's not available for now okay you can work offline as well let us select this one so you can see that we have added a background to our data we can select all the text files and then you can change the color so that the text becomes a little visible yeah, that's how you do it. Now, if you don't want the image to be added on your file, you can also remove that, delete page background, and there you go, all the images are gone. Now, the next important part, that is the print titles. Now, why do we need print titles? For that, let's try to print this. So, now you can see the first page. In the first page, we have the title, rank, restaurant, sales, segment, category but if you go to the second page you don't have that title right you don't have the title rank name of the restaurant sales and their service category so if we want that then we need to add titles now for that let's select the print titles option now let's select the rows to repeat on top now for that we need the first row select the first row and this particular row will be repeating into all the pages now let's try to print it so yeah now you can see the titles are being added to all the sheets you can see the page 2 page 3 page 4 page 5 and page 6 so you can see the titles added to all the sheets so that's how you use the print titles option now with that we have come to an end of this session on page setup in excel if you have any queries regarding the topics discussed in this session, then please feel free to reach us down in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.